I'm gonna do a little video on how to install the stucco stacks and West Coast saws filter on your MS-462 steel. You wanna take the top cover off. You're gonna to wanna to take this stock air filter and take that off. But inside here, you'll have a baffle. It has two nuts on the inside of here. You wanna get, get down and then take those two nuts out of there. You can put the saw in choke. So if you drop the nuts, you won't drop them down in the intake there through the carb. Little trick there for you. So you wanna take that intake baffle off and get those nuts out of there. What I use to take the nuts off is a little 5 16 socket. You can use a little ratchet too or an eight millimeter socket. Works the same, fits both sockets, eight millimeter, 5 16 um, So this one's been altered a little bit. I uh, shaved it down. You don't have to do any of that, but it might look a little bit different. That's why I bring it up. So then you want to take your oil filter and you want to put it right on that flint. Oh, I'm sorry. It's back up. Put those two nuts back on. Get those tightened up. This is one of the reasons why I mentioned you can close the, close the choke off here. You might drop a nut down inside there and a bugger to get out sometimes. So it's just handy to close it up. I'm going to cinch those back down. Get it nice and snug. You don't need to overdo it. And then what you want to do is take that filter that you oiled. This one's already been used a little bit. This is actually the very first one that I made. Uh, so this is the prototype number one. And my buddy Joe Johnson, you guys probably know who he is. Uh, he was kind enough to send me this saw uh, a long time ago to get the filter thing going and figuring all that out and it's finally done and uh, ready to ship back. He was uh, kind enough to let me port it as well so that was pretty cool. A little help from Gordy and John. John's custom saws and Gordy over at West Coast. You want to look up Gordy if you want one of these filters. He sells them on his website. Really nice. Make bark boxes. Big buck and spikes. You guys probably check it out. Pretty good stuff. So Back to the saw, you just want to tighten that up. You come with the clamp, tighten that up. Get her nice and tight. I don't want that coming off. And then you can put your top cover back on. Button her down. And uh, I do recommend the guys on these steels with this Mtronic system that you could do the, do the factory reset where you hold the choke rod all the way down. Start it for the 90 seconds with the choke down chain brake off and uh, let it run for 90 seconds to let it tune itself, retune and relearn. This is going to be sucking in a lot more air. Not a lot, but a good amount. Uh, you should notice a difference uh, when you start cutting with it, with this filter on there. Especially if you got a bark box on the front. That's really nice too. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out um, West Coast Saws or Red Beard Saws on Facebook. Stuckle Stacks on uh, Instagram and YouTube and uh, Facebook. See you later.